Welcome to my party, we're just getting started A life is a dream or a nightmare starring Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in Get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling? Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars Crashing in my car, wake up in a bar I'll be a superstar, just on my avatar This world is so bizarre, empty out the reservoir Yeah I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy, don't Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel My name is Fred Mutine And this is Fred Eds, the Fashionable Bull Doctor Thank you so much for stopping by And please subscribe to my channel and Please support your girl So today I'll be taking you through a day with me in in hospital 24 hours with me today i'll be doing 24 hours and i'll be taking you through my day and my night and guess what today we'll be doing an mvm a manual vacuum aspiration i love manual vacuum aspiration so much you know like i've <coughs> uh, i told a colleague of mine i i just told a colleague of mine that i love mvs and she was like what are you mad are you crazy? <laughs> but I love MVS so much, they are so satisfying. Like you know, the patient is in pain, they are bleeding, and then you just sanction all those clots in the blood, and the bleeding stops just immediately. And the pain goes away immediately. The moment you just finish your MVA, everything goes back to normal. The pain disappears, the bleeding stops. Before we do our MVA, let's clock a few patients and what I'm doing here is I'm documenting down the patients I'm seeing. We use a system known as MED360 but we also need to do the written documents just for later reference to compare if the system tallies with the written documents. Using a system is very efficient and makes work very easy because the nurse in the charge will just send to my computer and then if the person needs to go to the lab i forward to the person to the computer in the lab and then the person in the lab forwards the results to me and then i forward to the person in the pharmacy so these are the results i just got from the lab yeah and i'm just clicking my patients This is a pulse oximeter and it's used to measure the saturations of oxygen in the blood and the pulse rate. Now let's do a blood culture. I have previously shown you how to do a blood culture in a previous video. I'm guessing it was the Oxygen video, but let's do it again. So this is a standard procedure and it's used to grow organisms in the blood system if the patient is not responding to medication. And what you do is you grow the, you culture the bacteria and you'll know which drugs will res respond to the organisms and which drugs the organism has built resistance to. The blood has to be collected from an artery. Most of us prefer the femoral artery, but for the sake of the privacy of the patient, this day I use the brachial artery. And you have to make sure you maintain the sterility. You, you also need to wear a mask just in case you sneeze or cough or you talk a lot. The, if the droplets drop on the syringe, or the needle or the surface you are collecting your blood from, then you'll be capturing the wrong bacteria that is from your mouth and then you'll do injustice to the patient.
time for tea and as I take my tea I watch some TikTok videos. I love TikTok. I'm addicted to TikTok. If you know, you know. And I love this guy. He makes me laugh so much. It's finally time for my favorite procedure. Now let's go do our MVA. <laughs> this is the this is my MVA room. That's the bed where my patient would lie. This are uh, aprons just in case the blood decides to wash your clothes. <laughs> you know it it has a lot of pressure. Then I have my speculum set. I also have the MVA kit. This is a brand new one. It's known as the MVA plus aspirator. I also have some clean gloves. I also have KY jelly to lubricate the speculum. Yeah. And then I, I have this vaginal swab. Don't mind the bottle. I know it's super old. <laughs> and I have to refill that. Yeah. I also have sterile gauzes right there and other things in the room that I do not need right now like the delivery pack and other things, the bean, uh, a shop box that I definitely, uh, definitely need and then this light, this, this helps you, this improves, gives you better vision. <laughs> pairs of standard gloves this is a standard procedure so you know then misoprostol or cytotec 400 milligrams normosaline 500 milligrams also known as ns then i have oxytocin 10 iu this this helps in contractions during the procedure yeah and then my painkiller analgesic tramadol 100 milligrams which i'll give before the procedure just to reduce the pain masks just in case the blood decides to wash my face i also have surgical spirit needles syringes yeah everything is set then now have connected my mva kit everything is set to start my procedure if you want to see how to connect the kit, just go watch my other video about MVA, which is doing so well. Please go check it out and you'll understand more about MVS. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. be the greatest everybody on the face shit i look around and feel like everybody is the fakest i make this every day and i'm impatient hoping one day i blow up from the basement statement the top is so vacant i don't need shit that i think is amazing waiting for my day when i'm playing sold out shows for a thousand faces hey give me that crown get in my way and you'll be put down it ain't your place all this my town if i want that shit then i'll get it right now i'm losing it the noose if it's some loose shit a stupid myth you choose to live or choose to dip you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift oh. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign Yeah, there's no mercy in this
this world just hunger thirsty persons in different versions each do what they that shit worsens why pull back the curtain and you'll see the different vermin we all have different burdens that all seem to cause disturbance y'all so do me a favor don't treat me like a neighbor don't need the different flavors of your problems just to savor i've got my own issues i need a comb to get through don't need to groan with you just go get your wrong tissue I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign A sign That's it, the end of the song Next time you'll sing along Trust me, there's nothing wrong I just need to carry on Cause society's a myth Put there to make you sit Listen to what they give Don't ask questions, shut your lip Yeah, don't ask questions, shut your lip I need to run away from this And go get off the grid Feel like my brain is overloaded, man I'm losing it Don't let them tell you what to do, man They don't know shit Build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy uh. And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer No exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh. Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough I don't wanna feel the stuck Under the rug, all my problems that I shove I got nightmares in my head I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me so I also had a patient for implant insertion, which is a long-term method of family planning, but the patient was not comfortable with me filming during the procedure. So I'll try again another time. I'll do a video purely dedicated to family planning, so stay tuned. We have the three-year implant, which has both estrogen and progesterone, it's hormonal. We also have the five-year hormonal implant, which also has both estrogen and progesterone. And we have the famous copper T, which is non-hormonal, can take you up to 10, 11 years. All you need to do is do frequent urinalysis or take probiotics because it can predispose you to UTIs. But it's very efficient, very good. As you can see, it's already night and I had this patient, a very young girl. I was administering hydrocortisone IV injection and the patient's body reacted so badly to this drug. I was surprised. I panicked. I got into panic attacks. <laughs> I have to do this as a story time in my next video. So the next video I upload will be me giving you a story time about this patient. But currently the patient is good. Yeah, I followed up and the patient is doing good. But I had never heard of a patient reacting so badly to hydrocortisone. You'll have to check my next video. This is me at 10, 30. I'm super tired. Whew, the day has been tiresome. Yeah, quite tiresome. 
I managed to, to shoot a few clips here and there, a few procedures, but it's very hard to shoot while doing procedures because most of the time I, I'm using both of my hands and then I don't have anyone else to film me. So it's, it's pretty hard to film. Yeah. So right now I just want to take some rest. I'm hoping I'll not see any patients during the night. So that I can have enough sleep. <laughs> yeah, pray for me. Cross your fingers for me. Yeah, that's it. Um, and I guess this is the end of the vlog. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Adios.